What's up guys, this is D-Bams Gaming coming at you with another episode of our SMU Mustangs Dynasty Mode. Our first game against their ranked opposition, can we get the win against Vanderbilt? You'll have to stick around to find out. And I know I haven't been uploading that many videos, you know I'm university right now and midterms are just around the corner. So you know my stress level right now is way higher than it should be. But I will keep trying to upload and my problems really aren't your problems. You know guys, um, thanks for watching and everything. But let's get this game going here. As Vanderbilt will kick it off to start the game off. And we will return this ball and we're going to go house. No, I was kidding, we're not. But good way to start off. You know, could have taken the touchback, but whatever. So here comes our offense. Had a really great performance last week. And we're going to start off the same way with a nice first down to Derek Thompson. And again, Gilbert here has time in the pocket. He will find Jeremiah Gaines. Nasty juke move. And that's another nice first down. But here we are, third and nine. And the constant theme of this game for us were these long third down attempts. And here you go, Gilbert has nobody open. He takes the sack. Didn't want to risk an interception. And it was kind of my fault for sending the four verts. But now, cue the Vanderbilt offense. Curtis Samuels pitches it to Wesley Tate. And he has all day. And for some odd reason, he runs into contact there. And if he went to the outside, he probably would have been gone. But again, I can't complain. We still haven't conceded a touchdown. But there, I miss a tackle. And Wesley Tate... We'll stiff arm our defender for a good eight yards and he'll get another first down. So this defense already facing pressure and it's going to be a play action and it's going to be intercepted by Richardson. Richardson, no man will catch him and he's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10 and it's going to be a pick six for the defense. The second straight week that our defense has put points up on the board and not a better time either. Now we're up on the number 24 team in the nation. But here goes Carter Samuels again. Absorbs some contact there and gets a nice run there again. First and 10. Samuels will do play action. And he has man wide open. Keeps his feet in. Yes. And that's going to be another first 10. And here we go Carter Samuels again. Just abolishes our defender. Poor tackling. And he's going to get another first down. And now we have a third and nine. And this has to be the play where we got to get in here. As he's going to motion over Ed McGlecklin here. Off the edge. Samuels will take the hit. And it's a sack for our SMU defense. McGlecklin couldn't find a better time to get one of those. As you can see, he just beat the right tackle to the outside. And Carter Samuels, good coverage downfield, had nobody to throw to. And here comes our offense again. Let's introduce Traylon Shee to this Vanderbilt defense. And he would have been gone if he was a little faster. But again, third and three, a little bit more manageable. Gilbert will try forcing it and no cigar. Vanderbilt's defense is really stingy too, playing good so far. And it's going to be first and 10 from midfield. And here you go, Carter Samuels takes the hit. See ya. Mr. Darian Wright, the linebacker, gets his way here. And it's going to be another second and 17. And it's going to be Darian Wright again. He's going to be sacked for 11 yards. So, you know, a failed screenplay, I guess. As we'll take a replay at this. Nobody picked him up as they were going to the left side to cover the running back, but... Samuels wasn't comfortable throwing it, and now it's a third and 28. As long as we don't concede anything big, we should be fine here. McGlecklin, kind of looks like he's maybe hit his arm there, but nevertheless, it's going to be fourth and 28, and our offense will get the ball again. So Gilbert hasn't really found his stride yet, but he will find Gaines out the backfield again. Holds on to the ball. Another first down, but here we go. Third and eight, and it's going to be Thompson here, and he just steps out of bounds. Could have been down inside the 20, but... Nevertheless, another first down. The third and nine again. Joseph catches it. So we're coming up clutch in these third and long situations, but you got to question yourself how many times can we get lucky? But it's second and one here, and Gilbert will find J Johnson, and he will score. And it's another touchdown for SMU, and we're up 14 nothing. And here comes Carter Samuels. They have to orchestrate a drive here, and that's what they're going to do here. Nice run by Wesley Tate. And just another first down off the run. And this team is a way bigger run team than Texas Tech, that's for sure. Texas Tech was an air raid team, and Vanderbilt is a heavy run team. But Carter Samuels will throw here, and he'll find Krause up the middle. First down, and it's a big third and one here. We need to stop him here. Wesley Tate to the right, and he will just get enough for a first down. But we have a first and ten again, and Carter Samuels will give it to Kimbrough. And he will take a hit, but first down. Doesn't even matter who they have in the backfield. They're just getting these first downs. 
Carter Samuels, play action, finds Matthews up the middle, touchdown, Vandy. Maybe a little unnecessary roughness, but doesn't matter. But here we go, our offense, men and five left. Let's get some points up before half. That's all we got to do. It's up to Gilbert here, you know, just orchestrate a nice drive. But Gilbert here will try forcing this throw, and Butler shows off his vertical there. But he also gets smashed by Gilbert. Don't think I've seen a quarterback hit someone harder than that. But we're going to take a replay of this, and Butler totally climbed the ladder. Look at that. That was a good, like, three feet in the air, maybe. But it's going to be third and eight here. And he will find Boyd, and he holds on to the ball. Touchdown. So in a matter of, like, 40 seconds, we're from winning 14 nothing. Now we're tied up. So, I mean, the tide has turned. Momentum has shifted. But let's see what our returner, Kenneth Acker, can do. You know, he was a big play guy last week, and he will bust us to the outside. He's at the 40, the 50 at midfield, and he will be taken out. But nevertheless, a great return. And we're forced with the third and six, and Thompson will just catch that. And here we go, another third and four. Can we, we're, we're in field goal range, but you know, you can't trust the kicker all the time. And Joseph will come up huge with this catch. And you know, I had only one timeout, and that was pat, bad clock management, so... Take the field goal, and we are up 17-14 at halftime. So uh, you can't complain being the underdog. Vanderbilt must be a little bit disappointed. But you know, it's been a heaven, evenly fought football game right now. This game is brought to you by Nissan. Remember that? No, I was kidding. But, you know, it's going to be a good game. Hopefully we can come up on top because I don't want this game has a ending here. It's going to be like a heartbreaker for one team. We all know that. But let's see how Curtis Samuels and that Vandy offense react. As Carter Samuels will take it on the triple option. He will not pitch and he'll take it himself. Breaks a tackle. And he we're already in SMU territory. But again, Wesley Tate, you are going nowhere, my friend. Loss of three. Good play by the D. We have a second and 13. Carter Samuels here. We'll dump it off to Pruitt. And he will fight his way for good yards. Third and two now. We need this stop. Come on, D. And here we go, Samuels on the pitch, but he will be brought down before he gets the first down. And now it's up to our offense. And here goes Holman, first down. That's what I like to see. Our passing game hasn't been that good, so we're going to go rely on Trayvon Sheed here to maybe get us some yards. So third and one, and he will just get enough for the first down. And here we go, play action. Gilbert here has some time. Scrambles to the outside. Looks like he's about to run, right? Psych! And it's going to be Holman coming up big there. Good play by Gilbert to like completely fake out the whole defense. And here goes Traylon Sheed. Nasty juke move there. Gets an extra three yards. So here we go, second and one. It's going to be our backup running back. Prescott line, first down. And here we go, reading some read option here. And he was not in. I guess his knee touched, but didn't want to challenge because I know if we didn't get it here, we we're going to go for it on fourth. But Mr. Sheed will use his... You know, tough running, touchdown. We're up again. But here comes Vanderbilt again. Nice throw. Finds his receiver on the corner out for a nice gain of 20. And here we go again. First and 10. And it's going to be another play action. He absorbs the hit, and he will find his tight end in open room. And it's going to be Bishu. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But good play by Curtis Samuels. He'll take this, and he will go absolutely nowhere. Sorry, but no cigar. We got another second and ten. And, you know, they are in field goal range, but just maybe try limiting this. But it's going to be Kraus up the middle under, like, three defenders. But here we go, first and ten again to end the third quarter. Wesley Tate on the counter, and he will find his way in the end zone with a combination of little zig and zags and whatever, doodly daddly. He finds his way in the end zone. Good run by Wesley Tate. You know, it really wasn't bad tackling. We never even made contact with him. It was just better blocking. But we will head into the fourth quarter, still up by three. So as long as we play a good six minutes of football, we will make the upset possible. And here we go again, Gilbert. Pass game hasn't been all that great so far today. But he will find Joseph, and Joseph will bring it into Vandy territory. Second and six. And the thing I was starting to do here was being a little bit of douche, but wasting some clock. But here's another example. If Traylon Sheed was a little faster, he would have gone like eight, nine yards. But Gaines will bail us out on third and two with a nice catch. And yeah, Vanderbilt's mascot's pretty mad. I don't blame him. As that upset's coming more and more realistic at this moment. Another third and one. And we put our backup running back. And Prescott line will get the first. Good play. 
and it's going to be third and seven. And we forced the throw, but it's a touchdown for Johnson, his second TD reception. You know, haven't really thrown to him much, but when I am, it's in the red zone. So he's seeming like a very viable target. But now Vanderbilt has to score this drive or it's over. So we have first and 10. Carter Samuels voids the pressure once, twice, three times. Throws up a prayer. And Matthews, David Tyree moment. Holds on to it. That is some EA bullshit right there. Sorry for the profanity, but what else? Second and 10, and he will find Woods inside the 5, or inside the 6. Second and goal here. Defense hopefully can make a stop here. Samuels takes the hit and will find Pruitt. That was the one thing Samuels was really good at, was taking those hits and still delivering an accurate throw. So these football guards were with Fandy here, but they can only last so long here, and we recover the onside with Mr. Johnson. So he was having a very good game for us. All we need is one first down here, and Sheed will take it to the outside and gets the first down surprisingly. If I were Vandy, I would have challenged it, but it looked like he kind of landed on the defender there, and you can see Mr. D. Bams over here. He knows what's happening here, and we're going to line up in victory formation, and when you line up in victory formation, that means you're going to win, and that's what happens, folks. SMU starts the season off 2-0. And we get our first win against a ranked team. See, Jeremy Johnson only had two catches, but two very big catches. So, you know, here we go. We win at home, you know, making our stadium a little bit tougher place to play. But, again, you can't take anything away from Vanderbilt. But now we're going to go into the other part of Dynasty Mode is recruiting. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I'm doing throughout each week. I don't want to hide anything from you guys. Because, I don't know, recruiting is kind of tough to edit. You know, it's like snipping pieces out. So, I'm going to show you, like, all the recruiting and everything I do. And the best thing you got to do, first of all, you know, you, when you get those, uh, what's it called, the coaching traits unlocked or upgrades, always try unlocking the diamond one full first. So, then, if you're, especially when you're a bad school, you want to, like, be able to scout each player for 50 points completely. And you can see that's what I'm doing here, just quickly scouting every player completely so we don't have any disappointments and you'll see we do have one here I think George Howell yeah he's a 66 but you know what we will keep him because we do need a tight end but yeah once you're when, you, when you're bad school you need to be able to scout like a stock amount of players and like you don't want to do this at first because you'll obviously see that certain players are already pretty committed to like those top schools or like their uh, home states or whatever but maybe like week five or six and like once you get a couple of guys signed on just go search up by like lowest percentage like unlocked and just go jump after those guys because those are the players that you can kind of sway to come to your school unless they have a deal breaker. And that's the one thing that me and my buddy did on one of our dynasties. We were Georgia State and in our first year, we found a 78 overall athlete, kind of like an RG3 player and that's what he turned out to be. So we went from like having a 72 overall quarterback to having an 81 in just one year. So as long as you guys, like you'll see hopefully later on in this series, I will be able to find some of these gems and like these rare players that you wouldn't think would come here. But right now we just got to fill up the team needs and get a couple of players that are better. You can see Alex Houston. Hopefully we can get him. He would be a very nice player to get because we don't, we could use him anywhere. Probably put him as a cornerback, but you know, we got to, hopefully we can get him because I really, the only player I really want on this right now. But you guys, before I leave here, I want to start up Madden 25, but what team do you guys want me to do an owner mode with? Just leave that in the comments, but always leave a like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you guys later.